Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the fourth question from 058041, extended paper from October November 2024. Now, this question is from numbers topic. Enzo, Rashid, and Blessy each swim as many lengths of a swimming pool as they can in 15 minutes. The results are shown in the table. Find the number of lengths Enzo swims as a percentage of the total number of lengths all the three people swim. So let us try to understand the question first. There are three friends, Enzo, Rashid and Blessy, who go for swimming in a swimming pool and they swim as many lengths as possible in 15 minutes. So for example, if this is a swimming pool, if Enzo, Rashid and Blessy are standing over here, so from this point till this point is one length, then when they come back it is second length, length 3, length 4, length 5 and so on. So this is the meaning of lengths. So in 15 minutes, these are the number of lengths swam by these three people. Find the number of lengths Enzo swims as a percentage of total number of lengths all the three people swim. So here we have the percentage as the number of lengths swam by Enzo, that is 11.25, as a percentage of total lengths. So here in the denominator, we have to add all the lengths together. And since we have to get the answer as a percentage, we are going to multiply this fraction by 100. So let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 45 over 2 or as decimals we are going to get it as 22.5. So let me write here 22.5 percent. Now let us move on to the next sub question. Write the ratio of the number of lengths each person swims in the form Enzo is to Rashid is to Blessy. Give your answer in its simplest form. So let us consider the table they had given here. So here we have written their lengths that is Enzo is 11.25, is to Rashid is 18.75 and Blessy is 20. Now in the next step, let us divide each of these numbers by the smallest number out of the three. And the smallest number is 11.25. So we are going to divide each and every number by 11.25. So here in the next step you can see we have divided 11.25 by itself as it is the smallest number. We have divided 18.75 by 11.25 and 20 by 11.25. Now 11.25 and 11.25 will divide each other and we get the answer as 1. Let us check for the next fraction what value we get. So this will give us the value as 5 over 3 as we have written over here. Let us check for the last fraction now. So this is going to give us the fraction as 16 over 9 as we have written over here. Now further simplifying this, we are going to do one more step. That is let us take a common denominator. Now here we are going to write 1 over 1. Now taking the LCM, we are going to get the denominator as 9. So we are going to multiply the numerator by 9 and the denominator by 9. Now here for the second fraction, we are going to multiply the numerator by 3 and denominator by 3. Because 3 times 3, we get the denominator or LCM as 9. And for the last fraction, we already have it as 9. So we do not have to multiply anything. So here we are going to get the fraction as 9 over 9 is to 5 times 3 is 15 over 9 is to 16 over 9. Now since we have got the same denominators, we can cancel off the denominator. And we are left with 9 is to 15 is to 16. So this is the ratio of number of lengths each person swims in its simplest form. So let me write here, 9 is to 15 is to 16. Now let us move on to the next sub question. Each length of the pool is 25 meters. Work out Blessy's average swimming speed for the 15 minutes. Give your answer in meters per second. So let me draw a rough figure to understand this question first. Now let us consider this as a swimming pool. And here they have mentioned that the length of the swimming pool is 25 meters. So we have written here one length is 25 meters. Now here in this question we need to find out Blessy's average swimming speed for 15 minutes. Blessy swims for 20 number of lengths. So here for one length if it is 25 meters, then for 20 lengths the distance becomes 20 times 25. So now we got the total distance covered by Blessy that is 20 times 25. And we also have time with us that is 15 minutes. So we have the formula for average speed as total distance over time 
total distance is 20 times 25 as we have got it over here over since we need the time in seconds we have converted this minutes into seconds that is by multiplying 15 by 60 seconds so let us see what value this gives us so this is going to give us the value as 5 over 9 or in decimals we'll get it as 0 0.555 so here i have written 5 over 9 or 0 0.556 that is rounding to three decimal places so this is our answer now let us move on to the b sub question Rashid continues to swim at the same rate. Calculate the time it takes Rashid to swim a distance of 5 km. Give your answer in hours and minutes. Now let us reconsider the table they had given. Now here they have mentioned that Rashid continues to swim at the same rate. Which means we have to consider initially what is the speed for the 15 minutes. Considering one length as 25 meters. So here reconsidering the same formula. Average speed is equal to total distance over time. Now here for the total distance for Rashid, we can see that the number of lengths is 18.75. Now here again reconsidering the relationship, that is one length is equal to 25 meters. So 18.75 lengths is equal to 18.75 times 25. So this will give us the total distance in a time of 15 minutes. So let us not convert this into seconds because we need the time ultimately in hours and minutes. So I have kept the time as 15 minutes. So this will give us the value as 125 over 4 meters per minutes. So this is the average speed in 15 minutes for this much distance. But in this question we need to find out the time it takes Rashid to swim a total distance of 5 kilometers. So let me write here. So time is equal to distance over average speed. Now we are finding the time for the distance of 5 kilometers. I have converted the 5 kilometers into meters. So we have written here 5000 meters. Over average speed is 125 over 4. So let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 160 minutes. So here we have written 160 minutes. But we need the answer in hours and minutes. So we can break down this 160 minutes as 60 minutes. 60 minutes so total we have got 120 minutes but we need 160 so 40 minutes more so 60 minutes is one hour and the 60 minutes is one hour and this remains as 40 minutes so here we have two hours and 40 minutes as the time taken by Rashid to swim a distance of 5 kilometers now let us move on to the next sub question Blessy swims for one hour. The number of lengths she swims decreases by 5% every 15 minutes. Calculate the number of lengths she swims in the final 15 minutes. Now I have already written the solution for this answer. Now here they have given that when Blessy is swimming for one hour, she reduces the number of lengths by 5% every 15 minutes. So first of all, we are going to break down this one hour into four 15 minutes. So this is the first 15 minutes, second 15 minutes, third 15 minutes and fourth 15 minutes. So these all minutes will add up together to give us one hour. Now since she is reducing the number of lengths every 15 minutes, let us say that for the first 15 minutes she maintains the length as 20 as it is given in the table. So for the first 15 minutes she is going to cover 20 lengths. Now for the next 15 minutes she is going to decrease the number of lengths by 5% which means 5% of 20. So 5% is 5 over 100 times 20. Now you can take it as 95% of 20 also that will directly give you the answer to make the steps shorter. Or you can take 5% as it is mentioned over here. So 5% of 20 will give us one length less, which means in the next 15 minutes, she is going to cover 20 minus 1 that is 19 lengths. Now this is for the second 15 minutes. Now for the third 15 minutes we are going to do the same steps that is 5% of the number of lengths she covered in the previous 15 minutes that is 5% less of 19. So we have written here 5 over 100 so 5% is represented as a fraction that is 5 over 100 times 19. 
Now this will give you the value as 0.95 length lesser than the previous 15 minutes. Which means we are going to subtract the 0.95 from 19. So total number of lengths covered in the third 15 minutes is going to be 19 minus 0.95 that is 18.05 lengths. Now coming to the final 15 minutes, we are going to take it as 5% of the previous 15 minutes lengths that is 5% of 18.05 lesser. This will give us 0.9025 length less. Means in the last 15 minutes, the total number of lengths covered is going to be 18.05 minus 0.9025. So that will give us the value as 17.1475 lengths or you can round it to two decimal places to give you 17.15. So this is our answer. So in the last 15 minutes the total number of lengths covered by her were 17.15. Now let us move on to the last sub question. Another swimmer Adam swims 450 meters correct to the nearest 25 meters. This takes 10 minutes correct to the nearest minute. Calculate the minimum distance Adam swims in one hour at this rate. Here we need to make use of the upper bound and lower bound concept. It is given that another swimmer Adam swims 450 meters correct to the nearest 25 meters. So we are going to write the distance over here as distance is equal to 450 since nearest 25 meters is mentioned. We are going to write it as plus or minus 25 over 2. Now here since we are interested in finding out the minimum distance, we are going to take the lower bound. So minimum distance is going to be 450 minus and 25 over 2 is 12.5. So the minimum distance or the lower bound of the distance we got here is 437.5 meters. Now let us consider the time given. This takes 10 minutes correct to the nearest minute. So let us write the time here. So here time is equal to 10 plus or minus nearest minute is given. So we are going to take 1 minute over 2 to get the upper bound or the lower bound. Now in case of time we are going to consider the maximum time. Now I will explain it in a minute why we are considering maximum time and minimum distance over here. So for the moment let us take maximum time. Maximum time means we are going to consider the upper bound. So for the upper bound we are going to take 10 plus 1 over 2 or 10 plus 0 0.5. That will give us the maximum time or the upper bound of time as 10.5 minutes. So now we have got the minimum distance or the lower bound of the distance and upper bound of the time. Now we are trying to find out the rate of this given distance in 10 minutes. So here we are going to consider the speed formula. Minimum speed is equal to minimum distance over maximum time. Now here we are trying to find out the minimum distance covered in one hour. So before that let us try to find out the speed for 450 meters given. So here since minimum distance need to be found out, the numerators need to be same. So minimum speed is equal to minimum distance but the denominator should be opposite to whatever numerator you have taken. So we have taken time as maximum or upper bound of time. So here minimum speed is going to be minimum distance is 437.5 over maximum time is 10.5. So this is going to give us the value as 125 over 3 meters per minutes. Since the time is in minutes and the distance is in meters, the rate or the speed is going to be meters per minutes. But whatever rate we have got, it is for only 10 minutes. We need to find out the minimum distance for 1 hour. So again we are going to make use of this formula. But it is going to be a little bit changed now. Since we need to find out the minimum distance, we are going to rearrange the formula as minimum distance is equal to minimum speed times, now the time they have mentioned in the question is 1 hour. So here we are going to write minimum distance is equal to minimum speed times the time given is 60 minutes or 1 hour. Now minimum speed we have already got it over here 125 over 3. So here substituting we get 125 over 3 times 60. Now let us see what value this gives us. 
So this is going to give us the value as 2500 meters. So this is the minimum distance covered in one hour. So here since minimum distance was asked, we first found out the minimum speed and for that we have considered the minimum distance and maximum time. And once we got the minimum speed for 450 meters, we again made use of this formula to find out the minimum distance now but for one hour. So rearranging the same formula, we have found out the minimum distance. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.